The three biggest mistakes to avoid in color grading to go from a noob to a pro in less than three minutes. In this video, you're going to get better looking films by stop doing the three most common grading mistakes. I'll show you what to do instead so you can avoid money looking video and finish your projects three times faster. And if you stay to the end, you'll get a sneak peek of something new and innovative that we've been working on that literally lets you click and grade on the image. All right, mistake number one, applying a look right off the bat. You've just finished your edit and so you're so excited to see how good your film can look so you jump straight to your hero shot and apply a LUT or look grade. The problem with this is it may not properly take into account log footage or address image issues like exposure and color temperature. Every clip is going to be different and so each clip isn't going to react the same when you apply the same LUT or preset to it. Instead, what you want to do is perform a base correction to make it look the same way as the way you saw it on set and then apply a look. Doing it this way will make it much easier to match different shots for obvious reasons and then when you go to apply the look, it'll be more consistent. All right, secret number two, copying and pasting looks. This is a big no-no. Now, to be clear, I'm not saying you shouldn't copy and paste a base correction from one clip to another to give you a good starting point. If two or more clips are similar enough to each other, then it does make sense to copy the same correction to others to save time and then further tweak as needed. However, you want to avoid copying and pasting the final look or creative LUT to multiple clips. The problem is you'll have a much harder time trying to get clips to match and furthermore, if you decide to go a different direction for the look, you'll have to go back to each and every clip to make the change. Instead, you want to do a base correction on all of your clips first, doing shot to shot matching as you go along and then use an adjustment layer over top of all your clips to apply the same look only once. Then, if you need to make shots match together better, you can go back to those mismatch clips and make the necessary changes beneath the adjustment layer to the individual clip. And like I mentioned earlier, if say you decide to go a different direction for the look, say an entirely different look, you only need to change it from one place. Mistake number three, overgraded footage. When you're just starting out, there's a strong tendency to go too strong with looks. This is either adding too much contrast, crushing the shadows, blowing out the highlights, or even stacking multiple look LUTs to the point where the video begins to look muddy. Now, if you're doing this, stop it. It is okay in the beginning, it is a very common problem, but we can do better. Eventually, you'll wanna to get to the point where you can strike a nice balance between the original image and the look grade. To do that, I suggest that you dial back the look of your grades with the intensity slider or the opacity of the look on the adjustment layer. With practice, you can develop just the right taste that looks professional. And those are the three biggest grading mistakes that beginners make in Premiere Pro. If you didn't see one that I should have mentioned, let me know what I should have included in the comments below. Now, like I mentioned at the beginning, there is a tool we developed for Windows and Mac that will help you avoid these mistakes. With this, you can do point and click color grading in the base correction page to get to a good starting point. Copy and paste corrections and match clips together in the shot matching page. You can think of it like batch processing in photography and then apply a final look grade in the final grading page where you can get real-time previews of over 90 Hollywood colorist looks and where you can dial each look back to taste with the mix control. I'll include a link for Cinema Grade in the description below and you can try it out free with a seven day trial. You can also get 20% off by using coupon code YouTube20 at checkout for a limited time. Our goal is to help you achieve a high-end cinema look that helps you set your projects apart so you can look professional and open up new possibilities. For even more videos like this, hit the subscribe button and then the bell to be notified of our next one. Let's make cinema quality video.